guys it is fatal reaper today bring you guys a video and we're going to be talking about does f uh does a monitor or an external monitor for that matter affect your fps as you can see we have an fps counter out there on my laptop this is the hp pavilion gaming laptop this is the monitor we're going to be using over here on my left yes my pc is on but i unplugged all of course the uh, hdmi cables and stuff like that uh, we're going to again use a hdmi cable to plug into this laptop and we're going to be using the external monitor after though first we're going to use the regular monitor so we're going to jump into a game with a regular monitor and we'll show you the fps there's been going there's been a lot of things going around on the internet lately uh, and I keep seeing it. I mean, I'm seeing it from influencers, content creators that have so much more following than I do. Hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube. I only have a mere 2,000. And, uh, you know, that doesn't really ne necessarily mean anything. But I, I hate that this message is getting falsely spread throughout the internet and people are believing it. I have people on my channel believing it. I really wanted to address the issue and even maybe newcomers coming here um, to talk about the hurts and stuff like that. So the FPS counter is in the left, and we're going to be talking about does the... So basically people say this monitor boosted my FPS. They're meaning the Hertz. Hertz has nothing to do with your FPS. Hertz is just the re refresh rate. It's basically the you're getting a high refresh rate, and it looks better. You're going to see a better visual, but it has nothing to do with the actual FPS. The only thing that can boost the FPS is hardware, such as RAM, a new GPU, or a new CPU. Now those kind of things can increase your FPS. However, the a new monitor or external monitor will not. As you can see in this video, and I wanted to use my phone to really show you guys we are on the laptop and we're jumping to another monitor just to show you guys what's really going on. So right now, as you can see, we're getting anywhere from about 50 to 80 FPS. Now, this is going to fluctuate, obviously, because uh, you're moving in-game, of course, uh, and of course, different graphic settings. Things like that can all, you know, mess with your FPS, um, especially this being on the laptop and whatnot. Again, though, we got a constant 50 to 80 FPS. Again, you can mess with the settings. I did not mess with the settings. I left them the exact same as I switched to the monitor. It's on low slash medium settings. As you can see here, we are getting, like I said, anywhere from 50 to 80 FPS. The game is running smooth. It's running good. We even jumped in close, as you saw right there, to the 90 FPS. Of course, frames, as most people know, will fluctuate. Now, right here, I'm going to switch in this video you're about to see, or this portion of the video, you're going to see me switch it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the HDMI cable. All right, so this HDMI cable, once you plug it into the HDMI port over here, uh, yes, bear with me, I had some issues getting this in there. Uh, the cord didn't want to turn, right, and I accidentally dropped my controller in the meaning, uh, in the in the midst of doing this. Once I finally get that plugged in, uh, so once that's plugged in, what this essentially does is it takes the monitor away. You don't see your screen here on the HP Pavilion's monitor, which is a 60 hertz refresh rate monitor that is attached to the HP Pavilion. We're going to jump over here to my left, which this is what you're going to see now, because now that we're plugged into the external monitor, this is an external 120 hertz monitor. Now, to be clear, this is actually a 144 hertz monitor, but you don't get 144 hertz unless you're using a DVI port, which most gaming laptops don't have DVI ports unless you have higher end gaming laptops. They may or may not have them at all. Not sure. So I do jump into another game right here. I died pretty quickly. But as you can see, the FPS hasn't changed. We're getting anywhere from 50 to 80 FPS. The FPS is as normal as it just was. Uh, now, bear with me. You just saw 90 there, and you saw it jump up. Do not pay attention to that. As you can see, the refresh rate is 120 hertz. As you can see, the, FP, uh, the FPS does jump up here a few a few times, but that's when I'm on like loading screens and whatnot. It's going to jump when you're in loading screens and not in actual game moving. But as you can see here... While we're in the actual game moving, we're getting the same 50 to 80 FPS. There is no change. We're not jumping up to 120 FPS. Some people literally think that the higher hertz, the 120 hertz, gives you 120 FPS. That is completely false information. I don't mean to be rude. I just wanted to address the situation because I see so many of these content creators telling people that, oh, now you can get more FPS. There's this new thing going around that the new hertz... Uh, it's some update that Warzone had, 120 hertz for the Xbox Series X. Now you can get 120 FPS because you have higher hertz. That is false information. The Xbox One X, Series X, excuse me, could always produce the 120 FPS. As a newer gen, next gen console, it could always produce the 120 FPS on Warzone. They just had a cap of 60 FPS, like you can cap on Warzone on PC. There is no difference. That hertz thing is completely false. Now, you can play on an external monitor with the 120 hertz. Now, I'm assuming that's what they mean. Now, you can. it's compatible with playing 120 hertz. A lot of people said this was already a thing. 
Basically, you can plug a console up to a 120 hertz monitor and play with a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, what does the hertz do? That gives you a better visual. Right now, you may not can't see it on the phone's camera since we're recording with the phone camera, but I can see a huge difference. It looks 10 times better than it did on the laptop because the laptop has a 60 hertz refresh rate. It is looks 10 times better to my you know what what my eye can see, and it just looks 10 times better, and it just plays better and more smoothly. From what I'm seeing, but the FPS, as you can see in the left corner, has not fluctuated or gone up in any shape or form. It is the same anywhere from 50 to 80 FPS that we were getting a minute ago. As you can see, it dropped down to the 60s and even the 50s. There is no change. And FPS, of course, fluctuates anyways, regardless of what monitor you're using. That being said, guys, does monitor affect FPS? No. That is a complete false information. I just want you guys to really don't believe on this stuff. A lot of content creators, like I said, even higher than me, they have hundreds of thousands of followers. I've seen them on TikTok and YouTube left and right lately saying that FPS is boosted if you get this monitor. Or you, They're just trying to sell you something. Now, there is links in the description down below if you guys want this monitor or want the laptop. The monitor is a great monitor to have if you're playing on PC or you do want an external monitor to see some have a better refresh rate and see better, essentially. You're getting a better, better visual. But do not buy it thinking, oh, I'm going to get my increase FPS increased. Completely false. Now, RAM or a new GPU or a new CPU can increase your RAM or increase your FPS, excuse me. But a new monitor will not. It is just giving you a higher refresh rate. The higher hertz gives you a better visual in the game and does make for smoother gameplay. But it does not, under any circumstances, boost your FPS. I hope this, guys, I hope this cleared up a lot for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me some comments down below. Um, I, I just hope that, you know, monitor does not affect FPS. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Again, leave me some comments down below. Links in the description below for everything else. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.